19, that has disturbed and claimed many lives. Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify, glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who with untold mercy were pleased to choose as an apostle Saint Matthew the tax collector, 
grant that, sustained by His example and intercession, we may merit to hold firm in following You. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, Your Son, who lives and reigns with You in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the band of peace one body and one spirit, as you were also called to the one hope of your call. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. And he gave some as apostles, others as prophets, others as evangelists, others as pastors and teachers, to equip the holy ones for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the extent of the full stature of Christ. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Their message goes out through all the earth. Their message goes out through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims His handiwork. They pours out the Word today, and night to night imparts knowledge. Their message goes out through all the earth. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world their message. Their message goes out through all the earth. Please stand. Praise you, O God. We acclaim you as Lord. The glorious company of apostles praise you. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the customs post. He said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed him. While he was at the table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat with Jesus and his disciples. The Pharisees saw this and said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus heard this and said, Those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick 
people do. Go and learn the meaning of the words, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. I have this conversation with my cousin, a doctor before, of how his experience was no? in treating his patients. Ang sabi niya sa akin, may mga pasente daw na sobrang um, very cooperative when it comes to the treatment of their illness kung saan lahat ng mga suggestions, diagnosis, prognosis, no? at yung prescription na pinapagawa ng doktor ay sinusunod talaga, no? letra por letra. No? At doon siya natutuwa dahil nakikipag-cooperate talaga yung patient no? sa treatment ng sakit. No? Willing gumaling yung pasyente. Pero sinabi niya rin sa akin na may mga tagpo rin daw na may mga pasyenteng nakakainis, no? nakakairita. Dahil habang nagsasabi siya ng kanyang mga treatment plan at kanyang diagnosis sa sakit, no? pinapangunahan pa daw siya. No? Minsan ay eh, mas magaling pa daw yung pasyente kesa sa kanya. No? To the point na hinahayaan na lang yung pasyente para kung anong gusto nyo, sige, katawan nyo yan. No? Pero one thing na sinabi niya sa akin na mas mahirap gamutin, alam niyo kung sino? Kapwa doktor. <laughs> Dahil nag-aral din ako eh. Alam ko to eh. One of the most difficult daw patient na itinitreat ay mga doktor. Why am I telling you this, mother, brothers and sisters? Today, we are celebrating the Feast of Saint Matthew, one of the twelve apostles of Jesus. And we know na isa siya, siya may peculiar na background sa lahat ng mga apostoles ni Jesus. He is a publican, public sinner, a tax collector. During the time of Jesus, no, ang dahilan kung bakit isa sa pinaka kinamumuhian ang mga tax collector ay dahil kinukonsider sila ng mga taksil. The Romans do not give them salary. No? Pero kumikita sila saan? Sa taxes na kanilang kinokolekta. At para lumaki yung kanilang kita, imbis na tama lang yung kanilang kokolektahin, ang gagawin nila, pasosobrahan. Ang gagawin nila, huhut-hut ng huhut-hut ng pera sa kapwa pa nilang hudyo. Kaya talaga namang nakakainis. Ang kapwa mo na hudyo, peperahan ka pa. But then, in our gospel reading, narinig natin kung paano siya tinawag ni Jesus. Jesus was ordinarily passing by and he saw Matthew sitting at the customs post. And he called, follow me. And immediately, Matthew left his post and followed Jesus. To the scandal of the Pharisees, bakit itong teacher ninyo nakikipamuhay, nakikikain, sitting at the table of public sinners? Narinig ni Jesus, and precisely ang kanyang sagot, hindi kailangan ng doktor ang mga magagaling. Yung mga may sakit, yun ang nangangailangan ng doktor. Ano bang pwedeng matutunan natin sa Ebanghelyo ngayon? All of us, in one way or another, is also sick. Tayong lahat ho dito ay may sakit din. 
At anong klasing sakit ito? Kasalanan. And Jesus is always available as our physician to heal us. Pero bakit may mga taong cycle ang kasalanan? Bakit ang may mga taong hindi talaga na magbab, nagbabago? Precisely because siguro kagaya ng mga mas magagaling, kagaya ng mga mas alam ko kung paano i-diagnose ang sarili ko. Hindi sila nagkakaroon ng chance gumaling under sa pagpapagaling ni Jesus. And so one thing siguro na kailangan nating i-develop o i-acknowledge ngayon sa misang ito is our capacity to admit that we are sick. That we are sinners. That we need a physician. Ang problema lang kasi sa atin madalas since naging behavior na natin, since naging pattern na natin, ang pagkakasala, hindi okay lang yan. For our Holy Mass today, my dear brothers and sisters, we beg for the intercession of Saint Matthew to also have this kind of humility to go to Jesus, to follow Him whenever we are invited. Bago sana tayong maging kagaya ng mga para sa iyo na nagmamagaling, wala akong sakit. Where in fact, umaalingasaw na pala ang pagiging makasalanan. Siguradong sigurado sila sa kanilang sarili na wala silang kasalanan. All of us need Jesus, our very physician. But He needs us to admit our faults. Walang kasalanang hindi kayang patawarin ng Diyos. Pero alam niyo kung anong number one requirement? Admit them first. Own up to your mistake first. Be humble enough and accept your sinfulness before God can forgive us. And this is the very grace na nareceive ni San Mateo, ang kababaang loob na aminin ang kasalanan. Hindi tayo pipiliti ng Diyos no, na magpunta sa Kanya. Everything is what? Invitation. Follow me. And it's up to us to heed His call. Amen. Please stand. St. Matthew's life was changed by the call and challenge of the Master. May our prayers express a conversion of life which makes us sensitive to the needs of others. In every prayer, we all say, God of forgiveness, be gracious to us. God of forgiveness, be gracious to us. That programs of renewal may mark our Catholic life. Let us pray to the Lord. God of forgiveness, be gracious to us. That we may accept the challenge and call to conversion, rather than give in to the invitations of the world. Let us pray to the Lord. God of forgiveness, be gracious to us. That those involved in financial matters may not sacrifice their souls for wealth and power. Let us pray to the Lord. God of forgiveness, be gracious to us. That the spiritually infirmed may seek help in the sacrament of healing. Let us pray to the Lord. God of forgiveness, be gracious to us. That the dead may be forgiven of their sins. Let us pray to the Lord. God of forgiveness, be gracious to us. 
In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intention. And let us also remember those people whom we have promised to pray for. Almighty God, with the prayers of St. Matthew, accept the petitions of your people, the new Israel called together by the grace of your risen Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we celebrate anew the memory of Saint Matthew, we bring you sacrifices and prayers, O Lord, humbly imploring you to look kindly on your church whose faith you have nourished by the preaching of the apostles, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant and priest, Emmanuel, Father Pong, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, who have called and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Matthew and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, he said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world grant us peace please kneel Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Sharing in that saving joy, O Lord, with which St. Matthew welcomed the Savior as a guest in his home, we pray. Grant that we may always be renewed by the food we receive from Christ, who came to call not the just, but sinners to salvation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Healing Rosary for the World tonight at 9 p.m. will be hosted by the community of the Assumption of Our Lady, Shrine and Parish in Dawis, Bohol. Let us be together tonight to pray as one nation for guidance, healing, and protection. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Amen.